What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, it is appreciated. So today doing something a little different, but still kind of car related. Um, so I'm sure you read the title today. What we are doing is building a racing sim setup. So uh, on the Pathfinder video, you guys saw that my wife amazingly bought me a racing sim. So she got me the wheel, the uh, pedals and the shifter. Problem is though, I have been, uh, actually let me show you what my current rig is. So this is currently what I am using for my racing setup, which is not really great because the pedals move whenever I push the brake or anything. The shifter keeps falling off. Obviously it doesn't look good. And uh, this is not how I want to be playing my racing games. So I found a diagram on Pinterest of somebody using PVC pipes to make one. I like the way it looks, so I figured I would do the same. But there's no videos on it, just like step-by-step -step instructions and some pictures. So I figured I'd make a video of actually building it and then uh, that way you guys had it if you ever wanted to do this as well. And I'm pretty excited to see how it comes out. And as always in the description, I will have a full parts list of everything you guys will need for the job. All right, so you wanna start off by measuring 24 inches. Now this is basically gonna be the center of uh, the racing sim. All right, so after you've made your marks, uh, go ahead and cut it. A pipe cutter is the best thing that you could use, but if you don't have that, a sawzall works. If not that, then good luck, but I'm sure you'll find something to cut it. Just do your best to cut a straight line based on the marks that you made. PVC pipe is all cut, so the best way to keep track of everything is after you are done uh, measuring it and cutting it, go ahead and write the size of that specific piece on there, just that way you can keep it all organized and know where it's going to go. So now that that's all together and we have all the T's and everything else that we need, we can actually go ahead and start assembling it. So you do want to try putting it together without using any of the glue, um, just to make sure that everything is put together correctly. And just in case you've never worked with PVC pipe before. This is the type of glue that you need. There's a bunch of different kinds, but basically it's just gonna be a little bottle like this. And when we get to it, I'll show you guys how to use this. And this part of the process is basically just puzzle piecing it together based on the pictures on the diagram and uh, just trying to get it all to fit properly. So for the most part, the structure of the racing sim setup is done, uh, but this is the part of the instructions that get a little confusing on exactly how to uh, set it up for the shifter, the wheel, and the pedals. So on the picture, basically just has some wood set up, but the way they have it set up is a little odd. And then on the shifter, they use like U-bolts and then attached it differently not really a fan of the way they did it so i'm going to go ahead and try and do it my own way and then you guys can either follow my lead or go off of what the initial instructions say uh, based on the link that is down in the description so all i'm doing right now is making marks on where i'm going to drill uh, based on the bolts that i have i am going to do three so it is going to be uh, two going through the T and then one in the back. 
Okay, so just so you guys can see what I'm doing, uh, three holes have been drilled into the piece of wood that I'm using, as well as the PVC pipe. Went to Home Depot, grabbed some bolts long enough to go through all of it. So basically just gonna put the bolts through, bolt it up here, which should keep this nice and secure. Um, once I'm all finished, I might shave down this extra little bit of uh, the bolt that's hanging down, but this will keep this nice and secure, and then the wheel can just sit on this nice and tight. So this still needs to be secured better, and this is obviously not the chair that I'm actually gonna be using, uh, but for right now, this is just what we're doing to try and mock everything up. So what I'm gonna do is cut this PVC pipe here uh, with another T attached with a small pipe on the inside followed by another T. Um, so this one will go here, you adjust this where you want to and then just kind of sit in place, get a rough idea of where you're gonna want your shifter. Some people like it high, other people like it kind of center. So figure out where exactly you're gonna want it. Um, from there, go ahead and mark this PVC pipe, cut it and then put this T in place where uh, it should go. So while working with this, I think I found why he went the direction that he did. Basically the problem with using that is this little piece right here on the shifter hits the piping before you can get it to a position that you'd like. But I still really didn't feel like using a U-bolt, so I'm keeping this, but what I did instead is I'm using two elbows connected to each other here so the board can sit on top of that. But on the bottom here, I cut a slit for that little triangle piece of the shifter to fit inside. It doesn't go all the way in, but it goes in far enough that the shifter will sit in a good place. Okay, have been at it for numerous hours now, uh, but it is pretty much at the point of it being glued together. Luckily, I had this board in my garage, which sat like perfectly within the two uh, elbow pieces. I don't have the exact measurement, but I can get it for you, and I will probably put it on the screen now. But that board there is for the pedals. Obviously, this is for the steering wheel. This area here is for the shifter. And I already talked to you guys about the hole that I made to get the shifter in there, but it sits properly. That is how that board sits, and then the shifter sits on there. So not sure what system you are using, but I am using the Logitech G920. With that, you have these little like clips that go up and down to hook on a tables, boards, things like that. So you can use this uh, to go ahead and hook it on there, or if you want it to be more secure on the bottom there, as you can see if it focuses. You do have these holes here that you can put bolts in, and here's the size you would need for those. So it's really up to you on how you want to secure it. With the foot pedals though, you are going to need to actually use the bolts either way. Um, so you're going to have to measure up where the holes are that you're going to need, drill through that and put these in and make sure that it is secure on there. But as far as the shift knob and the steering wheel go, you can just use the clamps if you want, or again, if you want it to be more secure, you could use the bolts. But now that that's done, I'm going to take the boards back off, uh, start separating all this and start to glue the pipes together and I'll show you guys how to do that. So using this glue is pretty simple. Uh, this is what it looks like if you've never used it. So basically all you want to do is run this on the outside all the way around and then put this back in the hole where it goes, let it sit and dry and you're good to go. Um, just be cautious when doing this, if you already drilled holes and stuff like that, just do your best to not move things around to make sure that the holes that you already drilled stay lined up. That's really the only uh, word of caution at this point, but just go ahead, go through it, glue everything and then you can fully bolt everything up and make it secure. All right, everything is glued down now, just sitting and letting it dry. Also, I feel like I shouldn't need to say it, but make sure you're wearing disposable gloves while doing this because you don't really want to get glue on your hands or anywhere else. So do your best to not make a mess. And again, wear gloves, wear the stuff that you need to. So the pipes I'm going to paint uh, black and the boards, I think I'm going to paint white just to give them a nice contrast. Uh, but after that's done, I can put the boards back on and start actually bolting everything up. So paint has dried, so it is time to put the boards back on and then start actually putting the wheel and the shift knob on. Alright, pedals are on, wheels on, shift knob is on. Honestly, looking really good. Um, all I need to do now is get this board secured for the seat, get the seat figured out. And while I'm doing that, I will uh, go ahead and walk you guys through that as well. Okay, so it has been a couple days since the last clip that I filmed. Uh, just a heads up, there has been some things that I have done off of camera. For one, I got my new seats in for my 350Z, so I put those on. I took the seats out of that, so now I have a seat on there. Um, I built some railings and stuff so I can use the sliders. I'll go into that more detail while I'm showing it to you guys. I also used a old steering wheel that I had um, instead of the Logitech steering wheel that comes with it, so it is going to look a little different. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. And here's the racing sim in its final form. 
So everything has been completely buttoned up. It's all nice and secure. Uh, once again, using my old NRG seats, uh, which honestly, I didn't even really think about it while I was painting the uh, boards white. I just kind of thought the boards would look good. But based on the theme that I already had on my 350Z, everything worked out and it actually looks really good together. So I did use uh, my old NRG steering wheel. Just a heads up, if you are doing this, you do need this little adapter here um, and then just put in these little screws. The adapter is only like 10 bucks. Um, but it does definitely make a difference as far as like the steering wheel feeling more realistic The only issue is it is a little harder to get to the buttons now to use for like Nitrous on certain games or the start button select button things like that are a little harder to reach But for a driving feel definitely feels better And the seats once again, I did really want to make sure that I did have sliders on it that way Anybody else that is wanting to use the chair can also go ahead and adjust it to slide back uh, for more room or forward if they need to reach the pedals, so that was really important to me. Luckily my new seats came with sliders, but uh, you might have to buy sliders for your own racing chair if you have one and they don't come with one. And then to secure it, I just used these uh, U-shaped metal pieces that my dad had lying around in his yard. Basically just put them together like so, put the bolts attached to the rails and then these bolts down on this board, which is tapped into the PVC pipe with screws. And yeah, this doesn't look the cleanest right here, but honestly, it's not a big deal. So all in all, really happy with how the rig came out. Um, been using the racing sim pretty much every day since it's been completed. Again, a huge thank you to my beautiful wife for buying me the racing sim for Father's Day to begin with and then helping me put the rig together. Uh, now that I've shown everything, if again, if you guys have any questions putting it together, please let me know. I answer all my comments. Uh, but just in case you don't have a racing sim or anything, I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay for you guys and I'll go ahead and end the video. So hopefully that looked okay for you guys, but again, super, super fun. I love the heck out of my racing sim. I'm glad that I have one now and I'm gonna be on it constantly. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.